selling toilet paper on eBay. A guy in Tennessee has 17,000 bottles of hand, his hand sanitizer and has been banned from Amazon and eBay for price gouging. So the TP price gouging person, yes, they will be banned for reported. Nice. I did see that article, and I'm very happy to see that the price gouger ass swipe. Ha! No pun intended. Uh, got banned. Good. That kind of thing. <laughs> I'm helping now. I killed the pirates. Got a bum rap. <laughs> no, he didn't, because he deserved it. Listen, I understand that, uh... More kingdom. It's kind of era now. It's when you get to Port Mystery from. North is a kingdom renowned by the Astral Kingdom. If you continue to west from there, you'll reach the Van Kingdom into the north. There's a Sylvan Kingdom. Well, did you get a lot from me? So basically a Tetris shape. Uh, I get that, like, entrepreneurship, you know, is often founded on these kinds of things where you see an opportunity and then you make money off of it. That's business. I get that. But, like, this isn't business right now. This isn't somebody, somebody being, uh, you know, business-minded. This is someone being f humanity minded you know what i mean like they're they're legit like taking advantage of people there's a big difference between being an entrepreneur and then being a piece of shit human being scumbag you know Like, people are sick and some people are dying, and he's just like, hey, let's take advantage of this and screw people over. Oh, okay. Just wanted to make sure. me go to this ship if there's like nothing here Stores have implemented policies to limit the amount of products you can buy. Yeah. I buy TP in bulk every time, like like once every couple months. TP, paper towels, Kleenex, food, a lot of food. I go to Costco and I just buy bulk like every couple few months and just put it in a room. Uh, so I already have plenty of TP. <laughs> Plus I don't, you know, use a whole lot because I don't freaking need to 
take half the roll to wipe my ass, so that helps. But still, like, the whole TP thing is just mind-boggling as well. Well, I don't understand. I guess let's just go back to Portmandu. The Porta Body. I'm still trying to figure out why toilet paper is like the big thing, honestly. The the best answer I've seen is is something that reminded me of Y2K, because during Y2K, the same thing kind of happened. Everybody thought the world was gonna end, but like there was a, there was a, a, a unsettlingly large amount of people who thought toilet paper was gonna be the next currency because the world was gonna end, and that meant you know no to no more toilet paper production. So of course you know toilet paper is gonna be valuable. I guess. And that would be the next big currency because, you know, systems would crash, right? And uh, I think it was, it kind of felt like that was what was going on. So one person thinks toilet paper is going to be the next currency. They get a news story on this wacko on the news and then everybody freaks out, starts buying toilet paper and tries to price gouge it at the same time. So that's why TP is sold out more than anything else. That's the only thing I can think of. It's the only thing that makes sense. Is that it's just for price gouging. But like, fear, fear of quarantine does not make me go out and rush to buy toilet paper. It makes me want to go and rush and get food, you know? Actually, what it really wake me want to do is go get seeds so I can plant my food. Which I'm debating doing. Even if you live in like a, a, an apartment or something like that or a condo, there's still ways for you to grow your own food indoors with like UV lights and stuff like that. And it, it doesn't take a whole lot of space. It really doesn't. You can have like a small corner of your living area dedicated to growing food and uh, just, you know, buy some equipment to have manage that, study up on it. There's even ways of like growing tomato plants up or even down. And you can you can feed yourself a for, for, for very cheap once that's set up. You can feed yourself for very cheap because vegetable plants and stuff you would be so surprised how far they go because like one tomato plant will have just so many tomatoes you don't even know what to do with them you'll be giving away to your neighbors and stuff crazy amounts of food just from one plant You'll live on tomatoes if you have to. It feels more like a voluntary thing. It's like, I think I'm gonna live on tomatoes. <laughs> so, there you go. Set up the economy of bottle caps. Let's get Fallout going right now. I mean, I love tomatoes too. It's like, I, you just eat a tomato whole, like, you get a little bit of salt, sprinkle it on, take a bite, sprinkle on some salt, take a bite. Oh, that's freaking good right there.
But yeah, if, if I felt like if I felt like end of world was coming, I'd buy seeds and then canned foods. Well, yeah, I mean, you can definitely grow herbs and stuff and spices as well. The problem with herbs and spices is that they're luxury and they take up space. So if you have limited space on where to grow things, I would recommend avoiding that. At first, anyway. But they're pretty easy to do. You grow the pot, you, then you just clip out, take clippings, and then you hang them to dry, and then the end, that's it. You got your seasoning. I'm not sure. I'm not sure of a way to like grow squash in a small space, but I think the most plentiful plant I've ever grown was like cucumbers or like zucchini, because man, they just go for years and years and years, and it's like you you turn you turn over a leaf, and it's like, hey, there's 20 zucchini. You're just like, what do I do with this? I have I have 80 zucchini, and I can get maybe three every couple what days. <laughs> bell peppers indoor is pretty easy. Yeah, bell peppers go straight up, so it's really easy to handle those. But if there's like a way to do upside down uh, squash, like zucchini, so it hangs down, so there's a lot more space that it's utilizing, that's not being, that's not living space. Cause I know you can do upside down tomatoes. But yeah, if, if I were you, I'd research it. Go up online right now, like research how to grow plants indoors or how to grow vegetables indoors. Check into getting some of, uh, of that equipment, you know, UV lights and stuff, little nettings and, and stuff, pots, soil. It's not that expensive. It's a little bit of investment, but although if you have a yard, then it's even easier because you just put it right in the soil. Okay, well, I don't know what this game wants from me because I've talked to everybody and nothing seems to be going on. back here and there's no way to get over there is there unless I huff it so I'm going all the way to port portis or whatever just sent me back a million years Useful sun. You can emulate sunlight with UV lights. You don't. You don't need to have outdoor growing. Oh, I guess we're hoofing it all the way back to the western town. Yes, three zucchini plants. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah. Major sense.
I think I need to go this way. You know, maybe I needed to go to the castle town, Astral or whatever. Maybe that's where I should have gone. Oh well, too late now, we're here again. Personally, I kind of enjoy growing vegetables, plants, flowers, bushes, trees, whatever. I get a lot of joy out of it. But it's a lot of work. I still don't like the battle entrance sound effect. It just kind of sounds like I'm driving a stick shift and I'm grinding the gears. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> sounds like I didn't put down the clutch when trying to shift gears. people know how to drive a stick than you might think actually because stick shifts are cheaper you save a lot of my money by getting a manual transmission over an automatic transmission
Ekdark port. The exact same port screen as every other port screen. Hey, that's Miley. We found her! Stop running away. Why are we just letting her go? We didn't bother saying anything. Wasn't that Miley? It was. Let's hurry after her. We just like watched her go. We didn't stop to say, hey, Miley. Hey. Let's. Okay, that was really weird. Right when I talked to that NPC and he said yawn, I yawned. Not not joking. Because I called her Miley. I mean, usually when you pe call people by their name, they respond. Welcome. Oh, the savory is for herbalism. The dog looks like a loaf. You can talk to the doggo! Best game in the world. You can talk to the doggo. Confirmed a good game. Well, I mean, obviously, that makes Final Fantasy XV just a better game. It doesn't make this a bad game. Sense level 1, 2, and 3. Sweet. I don't think I have 2 or 3 cents. Using well. Yeah, I don't have any sense. <laughs> Alright, I think that's all of them actually now. one more but I think it's combat three but I thought I had combat three Do I still not have the one that reduces skill cost for skills decreases. It only seems to be one per level. <laughs> Ugh. Is this even worth it? Seems like the, the cost of effort is like huge compared to how much you're actually saving because it just reduces the cost by one on everything, it seems like. Oh. 
like faint. Like that was 10 and now it's five after I gained five levels of that. It just does not seem like it's worth it. Oh, you get training though. Crazy amount of experience points gained after battle. Well, all right. Well, we're getting 100% on effort then. <laughs> Perseverance and patience. video game ever is always the increased XP. Always. Anything that costs one, because, you know, that's the least a, a, a skill can cost anyway. So if I just get the one skill cost ones, then yeah. skill points on. I mean, battles haven't been overly difficult, so hanging on to my skill points was fine up until this point. So I didn't really suffer from that, but I didn't want to waste skill points on things when you, there's this when there's a skill to reduce cost of skills, you're going to benefit from that most if you use it before you start learning things. So, um, I wanted to learn that first. And so I just hoarded my points until that became available and was hoping that I didn't run into any difficult situations. Thankfully, I didn't. Prove your honor to me. Oh, okay. Great, thank you. I'll never come to this shop ever. the weapon shop how dare you not have a weapon shop worst town ever oh my god no way i had collision with the npc underneath me when that npc was was underneath me underneath the bridge let's see if she comes back down i'll have collision with her when she goes underneath here this little girl Look. yep yep collision <laughs> collision i can't walk through it <laughs> So much for layers. Hey, Lightly, thanks for those 